the uh, January 26, 2010 Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Um, the first issue on the agenda is to approve ancient history, the minutes of the May 26, 2009 meeting, which is, believe it or not, the last time we met. Um, I've looked at those briefly, and it's like reading something from my childhood, actually. Um, anyone have comments, questions, clarifications to the minutes of the May 26, 2009 minutes? Move approval. Second. Any comments? All in favor? Unanimously approved. Next order of business is election of officers. Um, I believe we need a new chair and a new vice chair as well. Yep, secretary, they call it. And secretary. And we have, uh, um, personally, I am termed out as I understand it. I served two years in a row, so I have to step down. How does it feel to be termed out? What's that? How does it feel to be turned out? <laughs> I feel like a free man. <laughs> um, so I understand we have a nomination for the chair, which is David Johnson. Um, and do we have a nomination for the vice chair? Who nominated David Johnson? I, my understanding was you have nom nominated David. Is that correct? That's correct. OK. And do we have any other nominations for chair? Um, do we have any discussion on that? Hopefully not. And you you going to make all the meetings? Do my best. <laughs> and we, uh, all in favor of appointing David as chair? Did we have to have a, do we have to have a second on that? Well, if we do, I'll second it. <laughs> all in favor? Yeah. Unanimous in support, in support of Mr. Johnson. As far as him too. I point of over here. So are you going to cede the gavel to me for tonight? Do I take the gavel today, or do we? Yes. Yep. All right. Yes, there you go. Sure. Grab your name. Grab your name tags. Right. <laughs> 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 All right. I would like to ask one comment, though. Is there something have to do with the chairmanship and the hairstyle that's involved? This is too long. This hair is too long. I, I had a question about that. I didn't know if I'd like to let the record reflect that the chairman, Emeritus here, has chastised me for letting mine grow a little longer. That's right. Next time I'll be suitably shorn. Um, do we have any nominations for vice chair? I'll I'd, I'd like to nominate Jack. <laughs> can we, I assume we can nominate Jay. Are you turned out? Yep. Is, is, he, is, is it just the chair that's termed? I no, think. it's actually secretary, they call it, not vice chair. It's okay. Secretary. Secretary. Oh, I'll move Who is the secretary? The secretary. secretary. Yep, he can do it. He's not termed out? No, no, you, you can. Uh, <clears throat> well, you only serve three terms, anyways, but uh, if you serve more, you, you have to. Step down, and then they have to be. You only could do two consecutive, so he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, because he stepped down for a while. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, you haven't been vice chair, anyways, have you? Have I been? Yeah. Uh, yeah well, secretary, yes. I mean, check the secretary. Yeah. You got me saying it now. There's no issue. Okay. Okay. Great. I second it. Any discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Mr. Mr. Chapman is now the secretary, otherwise known as the vice as chair. As long as I don't have to cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can take that up at another meeting. Um, I guess the next thing on the agenda is, is there any old business? I think probably discussion? you guys ought to swap, though. Should we move the chair suit? Okay. See, yeah. Let's grab your nameplate. Not a rapid front. descent. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> You're rapid. <laughs> Push the button, I'm a jacket. Get out of my chair. Try to sh save some shreds of dignity for you, Len. Oh, we didn't get to that severance package. <laughs> Did you grab your name? Thank Actually, you, thank Nate. you, gentlemen.
lovely springs of that power. <laughs> The next item on the agenda is uh, old business, if any. Anyone on the board aware of any old business that needs to be discussed or should be discussed? No? Okay. I believe we can proceed to new business. Now, I hear the request of Dana L. Foote for a conditional use permit to add an accessory dwelling unit. Good evening, sir. If you want to stand up and you can stand over there and... Uh, know what you think we should know about this um, hopefully I have everything on the application for you um, I think we have all the proper square footage um, we put in the packet uh, the lot map um, we've got everybody in the neighborhood <coughs> excuse me to uh, sign their approval um, with the MR apartment um, we do have a drawing of the in-law apartment, and uh, I've reviewed it with Bruce to make sure that we had everything in the code. Um, you'll see in the entry um, <coughs> that uh, we're right now the walls aren't there um, because we're supposed to be under 600 square feet. And in order to keep it under 600 square feet, Bruce would like us to build a wall in the front entry to kind of segregate that, that large area is not part of the in-law space. And there's another proposed doorway at the foot of the stairs going upstairs that Bruce would like to have in place. Okay, so just so we're clear, um, Mr. Foot, the entry, the, the, the area that's cross-hatched on there, that's, that's part of the existing structure? That's right, that would be used for storage for us. It wouldn't be part of the in-law apartment. Okay. And that vestibule there is the one that you, uh, that Bruce had requested that you add into the plan? Yes. Would you mind uh, taking your plan and holding it up on the board and pointing, uh, oh, sure. for example, where the street is so that we can get our orientation? Bruce is asking me to put up these walls right here mm -hmm. to, to separate this from the MR property. This would be used by us for storage space, and it would keep the in-law apartment um, under that uh, 600 square foot for an in-law apartment. Where is, where is Linwood Street? Where, Linwood. Oh, Linwood Street? Linwood Street uh, is right here. My driveway comes right down okay. like this. Thank you. Um, and then Bruce has asked us to put another doorway here at the foot of the stairs. Where would access be from, would you point at the access area? The access to get in? For the uh, ADU. The entryway right here. The driveway is okay. right here. So that would be the front door to it. Is that this door in the upper right hand picture in your photo? Yes. Yeah. So the in-law apartment would be to the left of that door as we're looking at it? Exactly. So it doesn't appear, um, it doesn't, its appearance does not change from, from single family, but and that's one of the things. Um, this door is there presently. It is. So he's not making any exterior changes whatsoever. Yeah. So that, that the, the neighbors won't see anything externally from it, correct? Correct. Now I see that you've got signatures here. Mr. Foote, is this all, all the neighbors on the street or? One was on vacation, and the other one, Mr. Simpson, we believe, has been is in a nursing home now, and his house is vacant. Okay. You have all the immediately abutting landowner signatures. Yes, that would be uh, Ann and Ralph Parity, and Chelsea Chase. <clears throat> Those are the people on 17 and 16. Yes, we have uh, 14, 16, 19, 17. They have all signed. Okay. You previously lived in number 16, is that correct? I previously lived in number 14, number 16. Now I live in 21. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and make them around. Every one of them out. Do, do you <laughs> like the neighborhood? Yeah, that's all the yeah. There's nowhere to go after that. If you continue to move down that street, so I think you've reached the end of the road. That's clockwise, isn't it? Where is it? <laughs> do you uh, do you still own any of those properties? No. Okay. So so these signatures are from homeowners. Yes, they are. Not renters. Yes. And there's no plan to increase the, the size of your parking area? No. Is there a plan to actually have someone live in this unit or is it something just for future use if, it, if the need arises? The, the person that built the house had uh, actually put that in there as a plan that he was going to use that for an MR apartment but never did. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hence the application. Yes. Right. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. You in denial? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? Yeah. Let me make sure. It might be. Hypothetically, yeah. this is a <laughs> real in law. It's a good question. This guy's really doing some planning. <laughs> Bruce, you've all, have all your concerns been addressed by Mr. Foote? Yes. Do we have uh, any other questions or comments? Uh, uh, Mr. Smith, this is, uh, uh, well, I'll ask you first. Uh, does your property, there appears to be a wetland back behind there, is that correct? That is correct. Are you in the setback zone of the that wetland? And if so, I would guess there's no bearing whatsoever, but I would like your comments on that. I believe that. That's an RP1, well, is that correct? The, 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 uh, the uh, buffer, the house is within the buffer of the... Of the, uh, the RP1 wetland. It's 250 foot buffer. 250, so he but certainly would falls case, with... If you could build the house today. He, so he falls within that zone. It, it, from the map, it appears that he did. did. Does I that have any that. bearing whatsoever on an ADU? No. Okay. No. Uh, your intent for this ADU? Excuse me? Your intent for occupation for this ADU? My mother would move in there. Okay. Yep. And you are understand, you are, you do understand that according to the town office that cannot be converted into a rental unit? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you were clear of that on the, on the record. I felt sure that you were. And it likewise can't be used for any sort of home business. You understand that as well? Yep. Where would parking be? Uh, you indicated there were four parking areas. Uh, that's not going to be an issue, is that correct? No. Yeah. Um, okay. Probably, probably the, the best picture of it is the one that the Portland Water did. We got from the Portland Water District. And you can... <coughs> see that we can get four cars in there and one of the parking spaces is in right, right in front of the uh, in-law apartment. So you're not adding any paving or, I mean, you're not adding another no. paving the driveway or anything of that nature. You can use the existing footprint. Right. I don't think I can anyways because of the no. regulations. The impervious surface. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the ordinance calls for two two parking places for required for the single family, and then one for the accessory dwelling unit. So uh, that, that surplus. And there's four. We can fit four in area for the present driveway. Have you? Uh, n n no internal modifications have been made at this point. Not at this point. Okay. No. Thank you. further from the board? Ready to uh, proceed to findings of facts and conclusions? Do I need to make a motion for that? Open, open the floor to, Excuse me? to comments and there appears to be no further. <laughs> so no further comments? Not of the applicant. Okay, from the applicant, any any comments from the board now that we're done speaking to the applicant? No? I, uh, if, 
If we're through with him, I have a question, Mr. Smith. I'd like sure. to ask. Thank All you, right. Mr. Smith. You, okay. you, you have viewed the interior of the structure? I have not walked the okay. interior, no. My, my question lies. I have, in, I have in the past, but not since they've taken over. My question uh, lies in the fact that since no internal modifications have been made, he will require a building permit. Is that correct? He'll require a building permit to put the entry, to close in the entryway. <coughs> and, and to, okay. Yeah, that, and that and what I'm so. leading to is that at, at some time you will inspect the property and then, and then necessary ordinance code, fire, fire alarms and whatever will be uh, yes. for bedroom. I mean, that's all part of. Yeah, when he gets all set, he'll call me and I'll come in and make sure everything's up. It's not. So at some part. Before this is approved, you you will be personally involved. Um, I, uh, it mainly is because the the entryway affects the the uh, the exit access corridor, so that's why it needs a um, and that's why I need to check it to make sure everything's okay. In a normal situation, would there be a situation where you would not have to view the property? I haven't in the past actually done that. Uh, if something's already existing, I haven't actually done an inspection, but that rarely is the case. Um, every, uh, generally speaking, most accessory dwelling units, uh, they have to do put in the kitchen and they have to put commissions up. In this particular case, they didn't have to. But So this is probably the first one that, I've, that, that wouldn't require a building permit if the entry was already there. And so I might not be visiting it, but I, all the other ones I've visited because there was a building permit attached to the the uh, the application to, to to have the accessory dwelling units. So my I, my question is: Is it ever a concern to for our approval of an accessory dwelling unit, which involves a bedroom, for it to be brought up to safety code, or is that not at all a, a concern of ours? Well, it's not, it's not so much concern of yours as, as me. I mean, I'd make sure that the bedroom is at, at the proper smoke detectors. Um, well, the apartment has proper smoke detectors, one in the bedroom, one in the common hall adjacent to the bedroom or in the open space. Um, make sure there's an egress window in the bedroom of the proper size. E the egress. And, and right. Okay. So generally, that's, all that stuff is attached to the building permit. Um, you know, and that's generally what happens. People have to remodel to do the accessory dwelling unit. So I will be in there and I will look at that stuff too. But I, but I should, you know, I mean, now that I think about this, if there, if there wasn't any work required, I'd still have to go in for that, even if there wasn't a building permit. But that's never been the case. Right. I, I realize all that's in, in your jurisdiction and not ours, but. I just, would we ever be put in the position of approving an, an, an accessory dwelling unit that did not meet no. safety codes with egress and fire, uh, uh, bedroom fire? Well, only if the code officer wasn't doing his job. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be put in that position. Okay. Thank you. Bruce, is the only construction, again, I think this might have already been answered, but it's the only construction that's contemplated at this time building that vestibule and adding that doorway at the base of the staircase? That, uh, yeah, the entryway, yeah. Any more comment from the board? Is, uh, from what I can see on the application, my comments regarding the application is that he, the, the applicants do seem to meet all requirements for in regards to the code as far as size and space and that would be under findings. Sorry? You want to put that in the under findings of fact? Yes. It's number five or four, I mean. Okay. Uh, that's just my comment, the pre vote comment, is that no, uh, uh, it, apparently the uh, application satisfies the ordinance. As a point of procedure here, if we're ready to proceed to voting on this. Do I need to move to close the uh, comments? Yes. Okay. Do, I, uh, do I have a motion to close? So move. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. What was the motion?
close the comments. Sorry, I didn't. Close the public hearing. Jay, was that an affirmative with you? Sorry? Did you put your hand up? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was all in favor. It was unanimous then, I believe. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> and again, excuse my ignorance, do I need to read the findings of fact in, or do we go directly to the conclusions and vote on the conclusions? Sorry? Do we need to read the findings of fact into the record, or do we proceed uh, directly? Conclusions. Vote on the conclusions. Okay. All right. Uh, and do I need a motion to proceed to that, or can I just begin? No, you can just go right to it. Okay. Then let's uh, let's begin with the conclusions. Then, um, again, this is for the application of Dana L. Foot uh, for a review of the zoning ordinance requirement, section 19-5-5. Seeking conditional use permit for a 535 square foot accessory dwelling unit. Um, conclusion number one the proposed use will not create hazardous traffic conditions when added to existing and foreseeable tra traffic in its vicinity. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Two. The proposed use will not create unsanitary conditions by reason of sewage disposal, emissions to the air, or other aspects of its design or operation. All in favor? Unanimous. Three, the proposed use will not adversely affect the value of adjacent properties. All in favor? Unanimous. Four, excuse me. The proposed site plan and layout is compatible with adjacent property uses and with the comprehensive plan. In favor? Unanimous. Five, the design and external, excuse me, external appearance of any proposed building will constitute an attractive and compatible addition to its neighborhood, although it need not have a similar design, appearance, or architecture. In favor? All in favor, unanimous. Now, do I have a motion um, to move to a judgment on this? Yeah, I'll move that we approve the Dana L. Foote's application for accessory dwelling unit um, for conditional use permit to allow him to utilize the 535 square feet described in his application as an accessory dwelling unit. I'll second it. All in favor? And that's unanimous. I see that <coughs> there are some conditions of approval here. Should I, those be read into the record? <coughs> yes. Okay. We have four conditions of approval. One, there shall be one dedicated parking space for the accessory right. dwelling unit. <coughs> Two, no home occupation or home business is permitted now in the future. Three, the single family and accessory dwelling unit shall be held in the same ownership and four, an attested copy of this conditional use permit shall be filed in the Cumberland County Registry of Deeds within 90 days of this approval. Thank you. Congratulations. Boy, it's been a tough six months. Oh. <laughs> All right, do we have any communications? need to uh, be communicated um, I don't know if you guys got your invitation to the to the uh, council I don't know what they're calling it this year the workshop used to call it an orientation but it really it really is a, a refresher an orientation for those who do but also a refresher for for everybody so I, you know, I, I urge you to and I'll be there um, when is that Bruce <laughs> I knew, you knew someone was gonna ask that question <laughs> I didn't get anything. I think it's uh, <laughs> first Monday in February. Was it the fifth? I don't remember. And I'm not sure. First I got Monday. It. I can remember. First Monday in February. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other communications or issues to be discussed? I hear a motion to adjourn the uh, meeting. Move to adjourn. <laughs> Any a second? Second. All in favor? We're adjourned. Thank you. What's up? No business, huh? You're running. You're running. Good. Run a tight shot.